Well, hey guys, we've come out today and we're having a bit of a go at crabbing. It's Christmas time and there's nothing more than what Queenslanders and Australians love more is a good feed of crab on Christmas. So it's going to be a little bit interesting because we've had a lot of flood water and we've had a lot and the, actually the water here today in the Barham, we're in the Barham River today on the Fraser Coast, uh, that's where I'm from. And about a week ago, it was lapping the bridge, so there's a fair bit of water coming through this estuary, or river. So, our plan is to start, you know, sort of mid-river, like down this end, and then work our way out. Work our way out. Um, and then, yeah, so we're not expecting crab for a couple of days. We're just going to try and find them and work through the fresh, and hopefully we get onto them. But you never know, we could get on straight away tomorrow morning. So what we're doing is we're running 12 hours. We're going to circulate pots every 12 hours. So every 12 hours we're going to shuffle pots and move pots and bait pots and until we find crab, because we might just find a couple here, a couple there. But until we start getting consistent crab, then we'll really hook in. But i got me old mate out here, old cock. How you going, cock? Yeah, not bad. You going to get a crab? Closer to Christmas, I reckon. Couple of days. Righto, well, let's go ahead and get into it. We, we got the old uh, 4X0 out. Zero beers. Drink responsibly, guys. actually don't drink at all just around this time of year i might sneak one or two or, or a zero forex hook me up look me up sponsor me nah <laughs> nope anyway let's get out there and have a bit of a squiz i haven't had the rock old boat out in a little while i need a buddy fix her up and start doing a bit more buddy prawning and um fishing and that sort of stuff we're gonna we're gonna head upstream downstream downstream to the mouth that's that's right in that cock Downstream. Got it, guys. Anyway, let's get up here and have a bit of a look. And and the old mate's just had a hit. He's just had a bit of a bloody old cuppy. He's given her a bloody hit. Had a taste of the water, and um, she's fresh. You could drink it. So anyway, let's go. To the old John. We're gonna give the John. We've got to run her in. You know, she's getting a bit old. But I was planning on ripping it apart and uh, welding a heap of decks and stuff into this boat and um, getting myself a centre console again. But anyway. More to the story later on, and let's get up the river and have a bit of a squiz. Bloody hell. Right, I'm going to drop our first pot. I'm not going to video every pot, but we're going to drop our first pot here somewhere. It's not bad rocky bottom here. We don't have no sound or an air, but it's our local river, so it's always good rocky bottom here. Uh, with all that floods and stuff, it'll be fairly exposed, so. Is that one of the boys that's just... Pretty muddy, but it might be an old one. Drop him in here somewhere. Throw him over here somewhere, cock. Blocks, uh, blokes poaching pots can be bad around here, but six to one, half to the other. You know, do you sink the pot and get done by fisheries? Do you do what we do and have floats be legal? You know, it's it's so hard. You know, you, you try, you can only try, but. So we're just running a string of pots roughly, not like it's not one, 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 one. We're just running the string like a couple hundred metres apart. We're going to run four here. We'll get over close here. We're going to run four here. It's not a bad deep channel here. It's about eight and a half metres. Um, so we're just going to run a string 
or four, and we're going to go up further into where it should be a bit more salty. Just to just having our feelers out. So this is our second pot. Um, I probably won't show you all, show them all there, but we're just going to run a, a sh bit of a string here for a couple hundred meters, and then we're going to go up into this bit where it's a lot more salty. Just there somewhere, cock. You can smell the fresh a eh, down this end. You can smell it like when you're driving. Boat drives a bit different too. Like it doesn't have that. I don't know. If you if you're driving impoundments and driving fresh, and then you're driving salt, you know what I'm talking about. But you can smell the fresh a. Eh? Billy Hunt, not silly, you know what I'm going to say, <laughs> for YouTube purposes, there's a big rock down here, so we're going to chuck her in the eddy here, we're going to chuck her in the eddy here, I reckon, cock. As long as they don't check our pop and they check theirs and give us the same courtesy that we just give them, just in here somewhere, cock. Trying to find people nowadays to give you the courtesy that we just did them blokes instead of putting a pot right in front of where they needed entrance into theirs. People would say, oh, there you go. I'm just here to catch crabs. I'm not here to punch on with anyone. But this is a little spot here. I love this little spot. Oh, I'd show you that, but I, I get demonetized, old uh, Cox. Ball bags hanging out. It'd be a shame not to drop a pot here in the cot hole. Well, us old locals call it the cot hole. I don't know what they call it nowadays, but it's a good little spot here. Catch a lot of Trevelyan stuff here. When it's salty, of course. It's marrow, it's red fin. The old cot hole. Under us, there's big rocks and ghoulies under us now. I don't need to show you. I don't have a sounder to show you. I just, I just know. I just know. Somewhere in there. We actually like the little flat pots better because you can sort of get them around and, I don't know, the big pro pots, people pinch them. Or the big other pots we got, like they, they pinch them, eh? They're like, oh, they're shit boxes, you know, the old flat pots, eh? They go hard, I reckon. They go hard. The old spot here is all covered in, all the banks fell in, so they're going to go back up behind them here. Foamy water, starting to get a bit more salty. Where we are here, everyone calls nowadays the Reaper, but us old fellas, we call it Queenie Corner. It's Queenie Corner to us. Yeah. I 
I wonder if there's a pot up in here. Come. Well, she's all falling, falling in here. So the old boat used to be in this creek here. I mean, you could, they had to, yeah, they had to get it out of the flood. But looks like half the banks in there used to be all rock here. The old uh, boat used to put up in there. I reckon you can put it pretty, pretty well anywhere here. You want to go up away from this, you might lose it if that's not a light pot. Then yeah, they're in light pots, yeah. so they'll probably lose it up in there. We go no good in the bar, and we go up in the Sherwell, and we go up in the Isis, and maybe the Gregory. Yet we'll see how we go. Right, we're up around Marina Drive here, and um, it's rocky, but it's sandy too. Full of sand, you can have a look at it. It's tearing through here now. It's not real deep. Little channels up to the side aren't too bad. Sort of. Usually, you don't need to go past this point to catch crab, but with how much fresh is, I'd say we may need to. But you never know. You never know. Let's throw one here. A bit of a coffee sort of rock here. Usually, you can't get through here, but with all the floods, we might be able to get through here. The sandbar have blocked it for years. We'll go up here and try and get through her. Well, that's all our pots gone anyway, so just gonna go and have a bit of a squeeze around for a bit and see where we can get and where we can't get. That's Wall's camp boat ramp, but it's, it's strange to see like no one out, no one here, no boats out this time of year. Fresh, Slowly yeah, but that's just word of mouth. Everyone's like, oh, it's no point, no point, crab, and no point. Word of mouth is the biggest, the biggest thing. Like, the only way you're gonna know if you're gonna get any crab or anything is go out and have a go. This time of year, we're what, three days, four days from Christmas. There's not a soul here at the ramp. There's there's no pots in the river. There's no one on the river. Obviously, people have to work, but usually she starts getting, a, in the silly season, she starts getting a few people. But anyway, very surprising. Very, 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 very surprising. There's no one here. And if there is, if there is anyone crabbing, they're sinking their pots. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. We'll get going. We've had a bit of a look. Um, if we don't get any crab up here, we'll, we'll launch from Walls Camp and then we'll go up further. But anyway, we'll get going and see you tomorrow morning, I reckon. See you tomorrow morning and we'll see how we um, go, hopefully. Right, we're down here bright and early. We're going to go and have a bit of a look. Uh, we're going to make a call today whether or not we're going to keep pushing out. We'll probably kill, still push. We'll probably still push out a bit to the front and have a bit of a go out there and then probably by Thursday afternoon I reckon we'll be right out in the mouth of the, about, uh, nearly into the ocean looking for them I'd say so we'll be down probably Barham Heads there trying to crab around there or, or something like that but if all goes well might get a couple here but um, I don't know I don't bother going straight out the front I, I like to start in the river and go out because I've, I've caught a lot of good crab when everyone's out the front worrying about chasing the salt water. I've still caught a lot of good crab in the river when no one else is. And I'd say that's what's going on here. So time will tell. We'll get out in the river and we'll have a bit of a look. And we've um, got full tummies this morning, haven't we, cock? Oh, yeah. Bit of bacon and eggs, hollandaise sauce. Bloody hell. Righto, we're off. Hopefully we get a bit of action. Let the old two-stroke warm up a bit. Give her a little putt up here and warm her up. Love yours. What do you reckon today, cock? Oh, hopefully one, but I reckon we'll have to go a little bit further. Well, there you go. Cock reckons maybe one. And we'll have to go downstream. I'm open for a couple. I'm optimistic. <laughs> but I'm also a realist. <laughs> so, but it doesn't matter. We, we put in expecting this so it doesn't matter what ever comes of it so we'll go down and we'll have a bit of a squiz right 
Righto, we're on to the first pot. So let's see. We're not really expecting anything here, but we're, we're only looking for crab. We're not looking for bucks, remember? We're just looking for crab, so. Oh, you got a fish. Oh, it's an eel. You're mostly fishing in some fresh water, eh? How'd you get here, bastard? No more. She conger eel, too, the bastard. Well, you know she's fresh when you got a freshwater eel in there. <laughs> Spot two. It's looking more and more promising that we're going to have to go way out the front. If this one doesn't have anything in it, I'll put the camera down and we're going to go and shift pots way up the river. So. Ooh. What do you got? Oh, you got a couple Ooh. of barum bucks here. I knew this spot would go there. Oh, Jenny's butt. Oh, that's a buck. He's not legal, but so this is like the old faithful spot. There's a lot of rocks and stuff around here, so obviously around this sort of coffee rock sort of thing. So we might um, have a bit of a go here, but we'll see what the other pots are doing because it could be just because we put inside that one rock. So that's probably what's happened, is more likely they've come out of that one area. But that's what we're trying to find, is just areas like that that hold crab. Because, it's all well and good me saying this, but unless we can keep finding that, we're not gonna get a feed for Chrissy, are we? Anything legal, you reckon? Nah. Nah. But it's well, the old, but... old, um, Old girls are full. The, the buck wasn't real full, was he? Nah, he would have been. Would you empty. lose a head out of there? Yeah. Throw that. Right. Throw that in. I reckon. We'll check these other ones. But it might be worth dropping a couple right. along here. Throw it here, or you want it back where she was? Anyway, we'll get. We'll sort out our problem, and then we'll get back to you. She's moved a bit from where we put her in. The problem with these little flat pots is they move, they move a fair way, but we're just trying to see if we get gonna get crab here. Because then we can start running a few few um, pots from here up, maybe. But we think crab. But they could be in there from here. They didn't probably not from up there because the ties dragged at like a hundred meters from where it was. So we're starting to get crab here, so we might run a string from here. We might run a bit of a string along here, so I think that's what we might do. Because I thought maybe up there was just because we were on a snag and they all come out. But getting a few oddies. How you going with a cock? Little flat pots, eh? They stay, they get dragged around a little bit. What are you snagged up? You all right? Oh yeah. Oh, that's a chocolate buck. He's not big enough, but. Jenny's butt. All the bucks might have, but he pissed off. <laughs> Been all crapped out. That's a little buck, but he's not big yeah, enough. Yeah, he'll be great. What do we get? Still a fair consistency of crab still here, and it's pretty fresh, really, isn't it? It's just, yeah. Well, the foam's starting to come in, so it's starting to get a bit more, a bit more salty. But the salt will sit on the bottom, push the fresh water to the top. But anyway.
Lord Jennings. Well, we've sort of found roughly where the crab starts, so we're going to start running some pots. We're going to start baiting a few up, and we're going to go back to a few little spots where we um, where we reckon, and we'll come back this afternoon. Hopefully, we get some action. the concrete they've tipped in the bank here somewhere in there I reckon maybe right oh well we're back out on the water for the afternoon so hopefully we we get a couple of keepers today we got some earlier this morning we got a heap of just shit no we couldn't keep any of that it was just uh, all females and undersized bucks so hopefully we get a bit of action wasabi so let's head up river and have a bit of a go. Well, we've got the bow weight going, we might as well have a look for a couple of prawns. Heap of jelly prawns skipping, but we've definitely got the fresh this year to have a good season next year. Nothing skipping, probably too fresh. Old school remedy here, cut old school. Burrum River Bunyip up in there, cut. Anyway, we'll get up the river and have a bit of a look at these pots and hopefully, I sort of have a good feeling, but I've always got a good feeling. Well, got to be optimistic in life. Anyway, we'll get up here and have a bit of a bow peep and um, Hopefully a big old buck's quibbitery, he's lip in the wrong crab pot and we've ended up with a buddy get a feed out of it anyway. Before the old motor she put used to pull to the left real bad and I adjusted a little fin on, on the back of the um, near the prop there. And um, Anyway, our cock's distracting me. But we did it first time. I just straight up got it and it doesn't pull at all now. So that's a good sign. So hopefully that means we're going to get crab. Because I adjusted that little um, fin. And usually you got to root around with them a little bit. Usually you've got to root around with them a little bit just to get them like pinpoint. And it's pinpoint first go. So hopefully. What have we got? He's an angry cock. What's she around the prop? Nothing. Nothing in that one. Sort of really didn't have a pot here. The first pot we had crabbing was upstream 500 meters. So anyway, tide's starting to run. You know, we'll get up in this creek here. Ooh. I wonder if we'll even get up in this creek, cock. We might have to send her. We got sand either side of it. So we'll have to do some rocking, I reckon. Get that motor out of the water like that. We could stay in here yet. Usually the worst part is that end, the mouth. So we just center in here, flat out. And there's like crab holes or something on the side there. But yeah, I don't know if we'll get out of here yet. But usually it works, you get one right up the nose like cock is. And yeah, just get just get the prop just in the water. As long as you're floating, you're in it, you're in for a chance. 
But this is where I was saying before, there's all that concrete. I don't know if I'm game to stop. Look at this monstrosity here. We might have to. Look at We're not going to get that way. We're going to have to try and get back that way. Yeah. Crab old but. Anyway, we'll get out of this creek and we'll get going. I'll just keep poking out while he's doing that and get rid of them. Females in Queensland, you can't keep them. Maybe the, they should look at the laws, but anyway, we won't go there. Tide is coming up, so worst case scenario, if we can't get out, we will wallow out. <laughs> Free and clear. Come on there, cock! sort of like a couple in a row just up here. This is what we call the uh, cod hole. Can't see it, no one ever no one ever can sort of find this spot unless they've got a decent sounder, but yeah it's all rock here and it, it's like a it's like a crater. Yeah Ooh. it's when the tide's up can't see any of it. We've got a few eh? Bucking all Jenny's Bucking Jenny's. All Jenny's. Oh well, we'll keep going out. Surely if there's Jenny's here, there's got to be bucks, but maybe not, maybe not. This is a pot where I was saying I reckon we might get some action here. I had a feeling about it here, but probably not, probably not. I did say, oh, this is the one that's going to get the most crabs, but... <laughs> I don't know about that. Not looking good at all. What are you, a cat up there, cock? <laughs> There's a buck. Two bucks. Two bucks, one may be legal. Three bucks, four, three bucks. Three bucks there. Maybe worth sinking another one here. Anyway, we might just go up out of the way here. There's a good chocolate buck here. And there's another buck, he's not legal. That's definitely not. He may be. He may be. That one fella may be. This one fella here, he's too small, he's under, but this fella, he's gone, he's went, so piss him off. This bugger is a nice, nice buck. Anyway, we'll go and check these other pots. We'll keep this one in the memory bank. Um, it doesn't look like the person that owns this place is crabbing off here at the moment. There's plenty of rock here and it's plenty, and it's deep here too, so we might drop couple here. We'll see how we go. We'll see if we can get up past um, the sandbar up here. Anyway, what do we got? We only got two more. Yeah, yeah. But that's alright. From the boat ramp back to here is fuck all. From Wells Camp. I like crabbing beside that place there because there's ropes all in and out of the water. It's like he just buys a new pot, baits it up and then doesn't check it and then buys another one. And I always go well beside his house, but in here too sometimes, because have a look at it here. I'll just swing into you. Little cavity, a good, this is a good little brimming spot. This is where me and Cock come to catch um, rimbos. Maybe it's just the flat pots, if I can go and no good, but we usually go all right with the old flat pots. There we go there. There's a couple in there. Yeah, there's two yeah. bucks there. Nothing in size, but. <laughs> Three bucks. 
It's <laughs> funny, but, bucks, but. It, it is true. They're bucks. They're not. They're not keepers. But um, everyone's. They always say, "Hey, like we only might only be catching one crab or so so far." But so, oh, you can't crab when it's fresh. Like it is dead set drinkable at the moment. And yeah, we should be at the front and up where it's more salty. But sometimes you just can't afford to go traveling bloody you know 60 kilometers to the coast you know you got to fish the local river or what have you but luckily enough barometers isn't that far for us it's like 15k most time we've had here like plenty of bucks not big enough but we've got one last piece to resistance up here and then we will um look at possibly moving this is a um, we used to call this spot here like the pine tree on the reap like near the reaper and um, there is a rock bar here anything no is it a buck yeah he'll go yeah he'll go He'll go for sure. People have obviously been raiding his raiding nippers. I haven't seen it this year. I have seen it bad. Like you'll catch a pot full of jennies and none of them will have nippers. And so people raid the fucking claws off of them. It's just not worth it, eh? It's just not worth getting a fucking jail sentence over it. Flipper's always interesting, you know. He goes by a good centimetre. Ooh, well she nearly grabbed you on the face that time. He's alright. But I, I have seen fisheries when they check your crabs, eh? They run verniers onto them. They did that to us last year. Um, oh, well, last time we were out. And they run verniers and they're like, oh, yeah, these ones aren't legal, blah, blah, blah. Well, they, they, need, a, they need a change the law if that's the case, if, if everyone needs to start running verniers. But I've watched fisheries check crab and knock the spikes off of them and go, nah, nah, nah. I you know, and you'll sit there and argue with them for 10 minutes. So I just watched you fucking knock the cunt off, mate. But anyway. So what we're going to do, we're just going to throw the pots um, along here, which is close to Wiles Camp. And then in the morning, we might um, take them way out up the front. But for the time being, for now, we'll just try and find a couple of old um, territorial bucks. And tomorrow morning we'll come in early and move them right out the right out the front into that deeper water, saltier water, that sort of thing. But we've got two now. Um, obviously, your first soak is just to try and find where they are. So we'll, we'll have a hit here. We'll um, change it all around in the morning. And. Yeah, the only reason I'm doing it tomorrow is because I've got the buddy, I've got to go home. The old girl needs to go shopping for Christmas. Just, yeah, yeah, right in there. We'll run a few out here. Along here, and then we'll change them out in the morning. We'll come to Wall's camp, and then we'll move them out into the deep, into the salt. Like get, We'll take them right out the front. Um, well, not right out the front, but we'll start, you know, halfway out. But I've got to go home and look after the kids and cook dinner because the missus has got to go Christmas shopping, Christmas food shopping. So we'll run a string along here somewhere, back towards Wall's Camp boat ramp, and then we'll swap them around in the morning, I reckon. We come up to the mouth of the Isis, and it is all changed by the looks. We've just come around the corner, I can't zoom in on it, but there is pots absolutely everywhere. It's pointless even coming up here. I think we'd be better off trying to find crab back down the river or go out in the straits or something. But there is crab pots everywhere. Obviously that sandbar there what restricts everyone. But yeah, it's not looking very promising, eh? We're back out again this morning and hopefully we get some um, crabs in where we were. As we said yesterday, we we're going to go out in the front and soak them, but there's that many bloody 
crab pots out there and there's no one really up this end so we got the two crabs yesterday which are a good crab so if we can get another one or two today we're laughing but we'll um, worry about that this afternoon I reckon then um, as we were, me and Cock were just saying we got another couple of days to get crab before Chrissy so we'll make a call to Savi after we run another string another soak and then we'll worry about going elsewhere if, if we're going to well, we're up to our first pot here so we got we got good crab here yesterday so hopefully we get a couple more time will tell I suppose time will tell she snagged oh, she's full of mud and shit one Jenny Oh, there's a buck down the bottom there. Oh, Something got in there. Ah, oh, shark, probably. Oh, sharky shark. Yeah, shark. Shark belt them. But yeah, there's a crab here that might go. And he and he's a clawless buck, so he must have been blown with that good fella. He'll go. I'd say that big chocolate buck give him a tune up. Just that's what we're looking for. See this? We got a chocolate bucket here, what like right here yesterday. So that crab would have been fighting with the other fellow, I reckon. He'll be right. Shark, eh? Something. If they were up before any more yeah. again. I'll I'll measure him up and we'll see how he went. I'll measure him up and have a little work on work on there. Oh big hole in the side of the bloody pot so it might be worth running a couple more along here I think right, we'll go up here and check these other ones I'll tie him up and um, bloody hell well two days in a row we've got good crab here so we might as well sink, sink her along here again I reckon what do you want to do just yeah just there somewhere Someone's been pruning and throwing their shit in the buddy river. This is a flat one, isn't it? One. One buck. Two bucks. Two bucks. By the looks of them, they won't be legal. But we've still got two crab. Two bucks. Might just throw the measure on one of them. One of them might might go, but I don't know. I don't, I don't like the chances. I don't, I don't reckon. I don't reckon they'll go. Well, no, they didn't go. We're going to freshen this bait up. We're going to cut all that out, and we're going to put some fresh stuff in. We got a plan. We got a plan. While Cox freshen, and I might pull pots for a bit. So we'll let you know how we go. Getting all the moles, all the moles quivering their lip in the bloody pots. Oh well, there's a little buck there, but I don't think he'll be much chop. Anyway, we'll get rid of these and um, we'll go back and try and find this other pot we lost and see if we can uh, run a few more back down that way. Right, we can't find that pot sort of come to the assumption that it had crab in it when it was lifted and 
they just took the whole pot. That's what they usually do. They just take the whole pot because it's zip tied up and then they get it out and they throw it overboard or cut the float off and throw it in the mangroves. That's what we were looking for. But Or a shark's got it. But this time of year, I'd say it was full of fucking crab and they've just taken the whole pot. Anyway, come out at low tide and just double check and make sure it's not stuck up under a mangrove. But long enough ropes which, you know it shouldn't have it shouldn't have anyway we'll go back <coughs> and run a few more pots back up here so we're just going to run a few along here we seem to be getting good crab along here we've sort of got a couple of keepers here so far so silly not to have a, have a bit of more of a go nice little deep hole here it's like a big big drop off it is so we'll drop one Roughly here somewhere, straight over the side there somewhere. I'll go up a bit so it sinks down. Go on, go on. It's going beside me here somewhere. In there. That'll probably sink down into this current. There's all current here where the rocks come out. Go over here. What do you got there, little ones? Get a flatty, ready, uh, a flatty ready. Yeah, ready to go. Drop another one here because there's a current line here too, and it's like a little bommy here. It's deep here, but it should it shouldn't um, run too hard along here. Right in the corner, just right beside you there somewhere. The shelf back here behind us. We've got two, two left. Well, if old mate is crabbing up here, he's going to have the shits now. <laughs> oh, well, his pots are sitting on the bank there. Fuck him, he'd be right. He loves it. Be right. Look at me, I'll float here. Copping or hiding already. We'll drop another square one over there, I reckon, against the bank over here on the other side of the rocks. Fair bit of current here, I'm watching me pot get dragged. It might not, hopefully, when it hits that shoulder here, the pot keeps lifting and dragging. Rope mightn't be long enough, it should be, but it'll hit that. Gutter because it's like a shelf here. It's, 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 it's actually got a, a bit of depth in it. I remember this because I used to have a sander in, in my other boats. They get her in the right spot. I've got to remember correctly where it is. Go off that pinnacle there. I, Something about me, I always make landmarks to somewhere else, just in case, you know, like when you've, when you've got a sounder, just so you, so you can know. Check me marks out. Yeah. It'll be deep enough to throw it straight in there somewhere. Probably should just get a cheap sounder, eh? But, oh well. She's right. Still going, she's going straight down, so. Float under from. She's good. Right, oh, well, we'll check these again this afternoon and we'll come back and try and have a bit of a go for that other um, pot that we lost. And uh, tides up, and we happen to bring a fishing rod, so we might go and have a bit of a go for a uh, rimbo. What do you reckon we'll get, Pop? Fucking catfish, catfish and eel. We should be able to get something. We might we might have a bit of a look around. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, if we get anything decent, you'll probably see it. <laughs> Righto guys, we're out again this afternoon. We're out at Wall's Camp Boat Ramp at Pacific Haven. We're going to go down river um, and get our pots, and we're going to take them up to the Sherwell, up the river. It's just up here a bit further, where it should be a lot more salty. But anyway, we'll get out in the river, and we'll move these pots, and we'll go and see if we've got any more after we did a big soak around this one area where we were getting crab earlier today. So we'll get down here and have a bit of a bow peep. And hopefully a couple of big old bucks have quivered their lip on a bit of old mullet frame.
I've got a head torch on just in case, but I spotted this old girl. I couldn't walk, couldn't walk <laughs> past it without coming to have a bit of a geezer at her. Jesus Christ, how we go with this poor bastard? But she's doing the job, that's all that counts. <laughs> Poor old bastard. You think the council come and clean this off? Like they do at, um, at in the Mary. They're always down there gurning it off and whatnot. But look at this. The old council lay out here, Fraser Coast, pull your fingers out. Really knee deep in mud before we even get out of it. Look, that's, look, I'm on concrete here. Yeah. The ramp's still here. Jesus Christ, Fraser Coast Council. I gotta put this I gotta put this down to get in. It's still pretty low, the tide's not up until like eight o'clock tonight. So we're gonna find a lot of sandbars. I don't know if we're able to get into the shovel, let alone get back down here, but anyway. We wanted to sort of have a look because we haven't been up this end of the river since we've had all that floods, so we wanted to have a bit of a look to see what the change in sandbars have done and it already looks a bit different just from the ramp here, so. Anyway, we'll find out. The hard way, won't we, Cox? The only way. That's it. <laughs> she's gotten, um, she's gotten thick. We might be, well, we might be dragging the boat through some of this, I reckon. Oh. Jenny. No, definitely, uh, there was a buck in oh, there. Oh yeah, I see him there, yeah, there he is. I don't know if he'll go, but... He might, he might go. Got all that Jenny. Yeah, that's a buck. That, he might. I'll let you go. I've got a feeling about him. He might go. We'll have a look at him and we'll get back to you. He might go, but other than that, it's probably the biggest one we've got. Heaps of jennies, heaps of jennies. But um, yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna not muck around now. We're gonna measure him quickly, and we'll get up the other end of the world and have a bit of a go up the Sherwell or somewhere up there anyway. But he'll go. I reckon he'll go. We got one more pot down here to go and get, and then we're going to head up to the shore or up, you know, out towards the mouth anyway. Try and get a bit more consistency. Plenty of crab here, just no keepers really. We're getting heaps just under, just under. So anyway, we'll go up there and have a bit of a squeeze. We we'll go and check this pot and bloody hells. He might be a bit small. We got one more here. We'll give him a measure and then we'll head up, up uh, downstream towards the mouth and try and run a few more. We'll give him a quick measure and see how we go. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. He might. He might. It's a Jenny. That fella. Bound to happen. There we go. 
Yeah, we haven't been up in the Cheryl in years, so I don't really know where the sandbar is. It's always been a pain in the ass. Looks like there might be a bit of a, a way around over towards them mangroves there. Well, it must go wide, come wide, because there's a, a drum there. So it must be the channel over here. You know what I mean? Like, it must, must swing wide like we used to and then cut into these islands here because there's yeah. a green looks like this is the way follow the calm water if there's no ripples it's got to be deep looks like an S is in here doesn't it <coughs> <coughs> only one way to find out is that is just give up get in and have a go that's what it does it S bends in sandbar blocking it and you swing over to these um, islands wonder if there's any how many more there is up here we might as well just grab in the map we don't want to go up too far otherwise it's too fresh so, so we're going to start running pots here because it's all rock around here so we'll start running a few pots I reckon usually rips right through here it does Straight here, cop. Yeah, straight Pretty here. Good, Do another one, another one. You know, I'll just, I'll just, we'll just string them. We'll just string these babies up. So we'll run a couple along here, and we'll go up here and have a bit of a look. Nice rock, nice and rocky. I'm not sort of getting them around the mud at the moment. Throw one in here, I reckon. Ooh, you lost your beer. And then we'll go up here to the rocks. There's plenty of rocks here. Plenty of rock to run pots. So we're just exploring, really. Right, oh, we'll see what that brings. We got all of them out. So plenty of rock along here. Plenty of spots for them to hide. Anyway, we'll head back to the ramp and we'll come out in the morning. And probably come out mid morning, let the tide let them have a soak through the next tide as well. This is a bit of a pain in the ass to get up in here, so we'll go home and we'll be out in the morning. And we'll see you bright and early, mid morning. Well, how is it, cock? I well, she's salty. Yeah. She's salty. But we're back out this morning, mid morning it is. We're checking our pots. We're pulling the pots today because sort of talking to a few blokes even crabbing out in the mouth there they're not getting bugger all so we've got enough we've got to feed so anything than today now is a bonus and we want to do a bit of fishing so we go down the straights and do a bit of fishing so we can't really do that while we're going to check pots here all the time so we'll pull pots and hopefully we get a bit of action today what do you, what do you reckon how many do you reckon we'll get today cock i reckon we're gonna get four right oh gotta be optimistic just got to be. That's good high water today, so we didn't have any no dramas getting in here. Was she snagged? Is she cock? Oh. Nice and rocky here. Cock. One. Well, he might go. Oh, well, he might go, that one. There's one buck there. He may go. He may go. We'll get him out and have a bit of a look. Oh, he might. He might. Oh, he'd be close. You never know, but. Yep. Well, we've opened up with a good buck, but he's not full. He's not. He's not legal. So I'm just keep giving you a quick look at him. But this is sort of the crab we've been getting all week. And we were going to have 100 crabs this week, all undersized and jennies, and four keepers. And they're all like this, so that's a good sign for the next coming months. So there should be plenty of crab in the river for the next few months. So anyway, go in here and have a bloody bath, buddy. Bloody hell.
she's been lifted that one for sure. Look at the baits, all the fresh baits been eaten. There was keeper, there was a keeper in there. There's something in that one. There's no holes in it. Fucking greasy. It's all been eaten. There was, there was crab in that. Well and truly. We'll see if we get a midnight warrior in, in here. Oh. Getting crab. Yeah. Been hit. Oh, big Jenny. They've been lifted. Because there's not just two big Jennies. Yeah, is it a buck? Is it a buck with a big nipper? It's a buck. Oh. It's a buck with a bubby nipper. We're getting crab, eh? But we're getting lifted like we're getting like two, two bloody crabs in a pot. That one will go. He might, I reckon. He's bigger in the shell than the last one. Watch out for those bubsy wubsy. Yeah, bubsy wubsy. Hold on, I'll take get this camera down. Um, just doing a video and a couple of photos because fishery seem to like to um, knock the spikes off the crabs. Well, that's what happens to us a bit. So we video every crab we get around here to show that the spikes haven't been knocked off if they're around just legal or just over legal. This one's, he's probably a mil, mil over legal. So that's what we're doing here. We're just gonna measure him up and um, other one, yeah. We've got the one fella here so far. We're just, all these pots have been lifted. We've got zip ties, cut off pots we've had on there and shit. They've obviously missed that pot because the float might've been under the water or something. But just people in the river just think they're entitled to pots. Like they, they need flogging. That's what they need. They need flogging. And some of these guys, you just you flog them, and they just they don't, they don't doesn't think sink in. You know, like do you blame pros? Do you blame non-locals? Or do you blame locals? You don't know. But I had this drama years ago, and I finally caught the bloke. It's a good yarn. I, I didn't do like a video podcast on it because it was a good one. There's no violence in it. It's just, it's just a good yarn. But anyway, we'll keep going. We'll see how, how else, what else we've got. We've still got four more pots out. So hopefully we get some more if they haven't been checked. Yep. As I was saying before, when we get people lifting pots, eh? a lot of the time it's people that live on the river. They think they're entitled to it. But obviously not all the time, but just over the years that's what we've found. Uh, one buck. Oh, one oh he's a big buck. He's, he's a big be all right, that one. He'll be He's a keeper. Fuck it, I hope he's a keeper. I think he's a bit small. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Just double checking miles, fucking. That's more like it. Oh, look at the tape measure here. I wonder what he does go. Seventeen. Not too bad. He's a corker for this sort of river. If he was chocolate, he'd be the better crab you'll get. He's not chocolate. He's not rusty, but. He's still a quality crab. So let's see if the other ones have been lifted. Good chance they might have too, because you can only be sneaky with a couple. Right. Yeah, he'd be too small. I wouldn't even bother. Right, uh, we've finished up now. We've got the last couple of pots here. There's nothing in them, so we've just got the two. So we'll head back and we'll have a bit of a cook up for Christmas and bloody oath. Bloody ass.